The stepsister of Anne Frank and an Auschwitz Holocaust survivor, Eva Schloss, met this past week with students from a California high school who posed in photos posted to social media that quickly went viral, giving Nazi salutes over a swastika made of red cups in a drinking game. Eva Schloss, an 89-year-old survivor, met privately for over an hour at the Newport Harbor High School with around a dozen of the teens posing in the picture, along with their parents, student leaders, faculty members, and a local rabbi, Reuters reported. In a press conference after the meeting, Schloss said that the students told her it was a joke and said she was surprised that they did not understand the meaning behind this act. And when I heard about this incident here, I was shocked that in 2019 in a well-educated town, in a very high-educated school, that incidents like this should still happen. And I was very keen and willing to come and speak and hear from the children themselves why they were able to do anything like that. I was surprised, very surprised, um, that they did uh, answer my question and said they didn't realize what it really meant. Nor the swastika, nor the Hitler so used, uh, salute. It did show that education obviously is still very, very inadequate. Schloss, a native of Austria, said that she shared her story with the teens. Like her stepsister Anne Frank, her family moved to Amsterdam to escape the Nazis. The two girls even lived near each other and were friends before they both went into hiding. Schloss's family was captured by the Nazis in 1944 and sent to Auschwitz. She and her mother were the only survivors. And following the war, her mother married Frank's father. I was 16 when I came back of, out of Auschwitz, hoping that uh, my family, especially my close family, my father, my brother, my mother, I would have survived and that we would be a family again. So I was their age when I realized um, my life has completely shattered and I will never have a family again. And this was really something very, very hard to endure and I think they realized that. I think they have learned a lesson for life. I think it is actually, perhaps it was a good thing that it happened because it has come now in the open and it is generally now, especially with you reporting in over the whole country, it might change the whole attitude of everywhere.